Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Nitro RCX tutorial section. Today we're going to be working on the MX400 bike. We're going to be working on the servo saver or the steering servo. Now some of you may notice that when you're coming out of a turn, accelerating out of a turn, you'll see the front wheels kind of wobble and it's unstable. That's because out of the factory they put these springs on the steering rod to kind of act like a servo saver. That's to prevent your servo gears from stripping if you hit any solids, hit a, hit a large rock, or hit a curb. Uh, but it does cause the front wheel to wobble, especially at high speeds or if you're accelerating out of a turn. Now to eliminate that, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these collars in and put more tension on the spring. That way I'll have tighter, faster steering response and will eliminate some of that wobble. Now you don't want to tighten it up so that there's no give in the springs. That way if you do hit something you still have a little give and less chances of stripping out your steering servo. Another way to improve that is to get a higher torque steering servo with uh, metal gears which will give you a lot better steering response and handling. So to do this we're going to need a 2 millimeter hex wrench and have batteries installed in your transmitter and your bike. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing you want to do is turn on your radio. Uh, I had the kit so I'm using this Exceed 2 channel radio. Um, what you want to do is you want to center the steering trim. Make sure that's completely centered before you work on anything on the steering servo. For those of you with the ready to run models and using the Humoto transmitter, you want to be centering that ST trim, the steering trim, and that's that right dial. So, so for you ready to run guys, make sure that's centered. Or if you're using any other radio, make sure your steering um, trim is centered. Sub trim is also zeroed out, centered. Once you have that done, we're going to be going on to these two collars. I like to turn the bike on as well, just so my steering servo stays centered. Right, you can see that when I'm steering, it's really loose. So what you want to do is loosen both collars, move that in, put more tension on the springs while still leaving the for front fork nicely centered. Get your two millimeter hex wrench, loosen that up, loosen them both, Tighten that side. Get the other side, tighten that. That way you have better steering. Now as you can see after I did that, my front's not centered. So what I like to do is, instead of moving the horn or your trim, recenter it. So get it so that your front forks are nicely centered. Okay, once you have the front wheels nicely centered, give it a try. Now you see it's a lot faster response. And you don't have much, as much of a wobble. Now one thing to note about the Himoto MX400 bikes or other bikes, RC bikes for that matter, is that your steering is actually reversed. So 
looking at the front of the bike, when you steer right, front wheel should go left. When you steer left, your front fork should go right. That's because of the natural reaction of the bike for counter steering. When you lean the, or when you turn the handlebars right, the bike will tend to lean left. And same for the other way. So there it is guys, that's a quick tip on how to tighten up the front steering on your bike. Stay tuned for more videos of us working on this MX400 bike. Thanks for watching guys, hope that helped.